Hey everybody, this is Dax, you are you, that makes me happy, glad you're back. If this is your first time, welcome aboard. So I'm going to do this entire interview um, by Michelle Collins on Sirius XM, January 30th with Grace Vanderwall. As you can see from the length of this, yes, I'm doing the whole thing. And uh, this was recommended to me by so many of you that I, I can't even get into names right now. So I'm sorry I'm not mentioning personal names. I'm really looking forward to this. Several of you said that this really shows Grace's personality even more than the other interviews. If you're a huge Grace Vanderwall fan, well then maybe you'll watch this whole <laughs> interview. I'm gonna jump right in um, because it's so long and um, I'm probably not gonna stop it to comment. I'm just gonna sort of make comments occasionally while it's going. So let's watch the lovely Grace Vanderwall with um, what seems to be the lovely Michelle Collins as well. So here we go. When I saw that you won America's Got Talent, at, how old were you when it? Uh, 12, I think. I, I actually felt rage. <laughs> I felt rage. And I say that, I can say that I was a child prodigy, Grace, myself. This is mm. what this is about. But mm. I felt, look at this 12-year-old girl, so talented, who won this incredibly huge uh, reality show. And now, how old are you now, 16? Yeah. Stunningly beautiful. You look adorable. <laughs> and she has a brand new EP out called Letters Volume 1. Uh, you're also starring in this upcoming very popular Disney Plus mm. film called Star Girl. Uh, I'm so excited to have you here. Grace Vanderwall. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Thank you. You're already funny. Like in the break, I was like, I like her. <laughs> like I, I connect. You know, I hear 16 and I go, what's this going to be about? Word. Yeah, that's what that's right? most people's Word. reactions. Yeah, it's a it's a little unsure, a mm. little nervous. Like you could have been like, come here like like a real attitude, Grace. Yeah. And I would have been like, who is this yeah. girl? But you're so nice. Oh, oh, thank She's you. She's a sweet, like an angel looking butterflies in the hair. Same for you. <gasps> That's nice. I mean, same thing for interviewers. If you go in and it's like, what is this gonna be like? Yeah. You well, you walked I mean? in, you're like, who the hell like, are you? To oh, be you're fair. not twelve anymore, <laughs> folks. Blah 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 blah, and I'm like, seriously, why, why? I like cross out my first question. I'm like, yeah, that that would be horrible if somebody said that. To oh you. my god, who would ever do that? Yeah. <laughs> well, that is our time, Grace, and we've had the best time with you. No, um, no, I was saying because I was Great reading voice. about you, and then in the break, I wanted to ask you all these Michelle. questions. So first and foremost, you're from, you're born in Kansas, mm. but you lived in Suffern. Yeah. Now, do you know why Suffern in the pop culture universe is famous? No. Uh, not at all. No one. I feel like no one knows Suffern. Whenever do I you girls out. know why I know Suffern? It's where Aiden had his cabin on Sex in the City with oh Carrie. Oh. That is why I know because she went. She was Suffern and Suffern. Oh. Huh. Where that came from, everyone says that in my town. My mom, you should be looking at my back. mom. She's gonna be way happier about that. Do you than know me. the Sex in the City? What's her mom's name? I'm so sorry. Tina. Tina, hi. Do you know the Sex in the City episode? I don't, but now I, and I love Sex in the City. See, this is why you have a, a successful sure. child because you're not home watching TV. <laughs> I have nothing to show for myself. Wait, what? You love Sex in the City? Yeah, I know. That's what I said. I oh, 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 oh. That's oh, where oh she God. went, and there was like a cabin. <laughs> you're probably too young. Yeah. Now maybe 16 she can watch Sex in the City. But like you probably were too... <laughs> she can. She's watched so many things. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just saying like I've been... I, <laughs> since I'm the youngest, I've been watching like anything I wanted since I was like, <laughs> nine years old. You were the baby of the family, so you yeah. had freedom to do whatever yeah, you wanted. Yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, props, because I was also the baby. And Word. it's the best thing. Yeah. What was... Word. That's why you're so cool. That's nice of you. Oh my God, you think I'm cool? <laughs> 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 Wait, I have a question for you. What is the thing? Because I remember, what is the thing that you watched? I know your mom was in the room, so it's going to be hard to be like honest. Okay. When you were little that you watched and you were like, I should not be watching this. Oh. Because I had a couple of things like that where I was like, oh, I know Yo, that this is it's for endless. Me. I don't even know. Um, probably just normal films, but like at the time I was like, like, whoa, they, they said bad words. Like, yeah. Oh my God. It's, it's a good like, feeling so though. It's so freaking crazy. You feel adult. But I don't know. There's probably just like normal like my brother really loved like normal adult swim TV oh, I love shows adult swim. and I would always watch with him and then like hide if you came but you never really got upset about it I mean unless it was like truly like I should not be watching yeah that, yeah you never really had a problem with it I always knew like so, not to she's, repeat she's anything so frank. Or yeah anything like that. that's smart no yeah. cursing in the house. I grew up in a curse house. We cursed in my home. It wasn't like a huge deal. Your mom seems very cool to me. I like Tina's vibe. She's real Tina's cool. like on the couch. Chilling. She's like, whatever. Ask her whatever yeah. you want. It's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
Sometimes moms come in. You know, there are yeah. some chanteuses, some famous blonde singers whose mothers are a little more intense, and I won't say oh. who. But they don't oh not my. look like you. They don't oh not look my. like you. And their mothers are not as cool as Tina. I will yeah. say that. Um, all right. We've grown. <laughs> Self-improvement. Yeah. Tina's, Tina's laughing. I love yeah. her. The whole interview's about <laughs> Tina now. I'm like, Tina. <laughs> we love a queen. We do love a queen. So, Gracie, listen. You were 12. You win the show. Oh God, I love you. <laughs> so, Gracie, listen here. Um, how old is you? How 16 old now? Is you? How old is you? You go on this show. Look, audition because you were in front of a Simon who mm. were the judges when you won mm, oh that's tough was Heidi uh, on it yeah, yeah Simon yeah. Howie Mel B Howie and Heidi, Heidi. Yeah. so those are the those are the OG yeah, America's the, Got is Talent is it different now I don't I even know it's, it's the same Dutch judges same judges oh it's different who Mel B isn't there that's right oh. she's got a lot of personal drama but no so right. you had those judges the nerves at that age, when you're like even 11, 12 years old, I mean, how did you even process that? Because adults who go on that show mm. are shaking. And I always wonder, the pressure, forget the audience even, but mm. just to have Simon especially, of all yeah. the people there looking at you, when you know how judgmental he is, mm. how did you even process? Like, do you remember being on that stage and, and what you felt like? Yeah, vi I remember it really vividly. But I think it was a good thing that I was so young because I didn't think it through. Right. You know what I mean? And I think with adults or young adults or old people or whatever, you're able to be like, this is what's happening. Like mm. thinking about the future, any outcome, like just overthinking mm -hmm. it. And I think I was so young and I so didn't care about being on that show at all. That's funny. That wow. I was just like, until I was literally standing on the stage, I was like, I did not even think about this moment, even That's today, true. about like, what it would look like or feel like or the, anything the way like she that. Walked Which is out. Uh, literally probably the healthiest way to it, yeah, be on a show like that. Yeah, it probably was the best way. Well, because I think if you got too much in your own head, any mm -hmm. for anybody, kid, adults, that's when you psych yourself out and when yeah. you basically mess up. Yeah, definitely. So that makes sense. Now, do you and Simon hang out? What's, how's he looking these days? Because he, I mean, he really was hot. <laughs> Tina, remember when Simon Cowell was hot? That was a while ago. <laughs> Tina's funny. I like her. Oh, that was a, that while, was a while ago. ago. Tina is very funny. Tina, what sign are you? What sign? <laughs> Pisces Cancer. That's why we click. Okay, wait. So, <laughs> so how's he looking these days? You still talk to him? Yeah. You have his number? You like pick up a phone and dial well, him? Uh, no. <laughs> Smart. Maybe no. <laughs> um, but we definitely, t I mean, I work with him now, so we definitely talk. Mm. And yo, Simon Cowell is the greatest guy I truly like him and I've always liked him like even when you were like he's judgmental and stuff I've never gotten those vibes from him mm. like always watching Fair. the show I would always agree with what he yep. said I would never feel like he was nitpicking I would never yep. feel like he was saying more than Me he too. should I would always be like dang that's exactly what I was thinking yeah. watching that singer or something like that. But anyways, completely no, I, off topic. I love him. Not a, no, completely on topic. And actually stemming <laughs> off of that topic. He's the best judge. He's the reason why that show was yes. successful. And sure. actually, like, I was talking about this with my sister because we get right. into, like, deep talks about the weirdest, most random topics. Mm -hmm. And this one time, uh, I really hope Simon Cowell never hears this. But this one He's time, a big fan. But anyways, <laughs> take it away. Take it away. <laughs> we got yeah. into this really deep talk about Simon Cowell. And we were like, you know what? That man is so inspirational. Like, just think about it. When you watch, like, his early uh, American Idol things, it's like a plastic fold-out table mm -hmm. with, like, a crappy curtain behind yeah. it. And he's just like darling you just suck <laughs> like and he, ha he had this dream <laughs> yeah and he knew people are gonna find this entertaining yep. as the show started to evolve oh this is what people are being drawn to i'm gonna control that manifest that and use it Damn. for the power of the success of this show mm -hmm. and wow. he's turned it into this crazy empire i don't know that's so freaking so crazy though and, and you know what i was gonna say earlier wow. but it actually is better even to say it now yeah. is that we're in such a sensitive time now like you know i wonder if we didn't know simon mm. in 2020 and he came as one of the judges i don't think people would have been as accepting of yes. him today yes. because we're so like don't hurt anyone's yeah. feelings even when it's yeah. truthful <laughs> Yo, me Which and my is sister truthful. were just talking about that too. And like he's telling people, by the way, like not, you know, my mother would say it too. It's like a Judge Judy thing too. 
Guess yeah. what? Everyone with a dream, sometimes those dreams ain't meant to be. Mm. Like, if you want to be Beyonce, guess what? You don't think I want to be Beyonce, Grace? We all want to be You've Beyonce. met me for two freaking seconds. I Do you, you not think? absolutely want to be Beyonce. Of course. And you know what? I still could be. No. But what I will say <laughs> is that you need someone to, like, sit there and be like, listen, real life, mm. this is not going to happen for you. Like, I'm mm. not going to be a runway supermodel. You know what I mean? Mm. Things like this. And now we don't allow people to be as honest as Simon. Yes. Only him because we already know who we're dealing with, like curmudgeon and blah, blah, blah. I do think we allow older people to do it because there's something almost funny about, mm. like, my mother is very teenage lover, very judgmental <laughs> and very direct. And people think she's like the funniest person, which she also is. But because she's like 70, like she can get away yes, with it. But when like you're you like get the 30, exactly, OPP, which I cannot <laughs> wait for. I, I'm down with OPP, the old yeah. person's past. No, but. Oh, well, yeah, for no, you, because you're it. older than me. It'll work out. Oh. See, I will Were never... Were you going to say, I don't know. I can't decide if I'm offended or what, what, what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Can we rewind? Like, you're, you not, no you're not old you yet. Stopped. You're not old yet, okay. but since I am younger than you, yes. I'll never get the old person passed because when I'm old, all the young people who are being annoying with, like... In life. You know, you know, don't tear anyone down. Yeah. You must be nice to everyone. Mm -hmm. yes. It's like... No. We live in reality, yes. like this is the world, but whatever, whole other topic. I'm gonna grow old with those people, so we will be old people reinforcing those That's, you're right. topics, which is gonna suck. It I'm gonna sucks. be like in no, the No, you're not gonna be like home. that. You're like, already kind of a bitch. Up, Debbie. <laughs> and I say that and I say that with literally nothing but love for you. I'm like so I love Honestly, you. Like I think I've never felt so accepted and loved wow. except in this moment. <laughs> This is so. the nicest. Do you think that I thought this was going to happen? They said, Grace Vanderbilt, like, oh, she's so cute. Bring her in. I'm like, no, this girl is like fun and great. Are you in high school? Do you get homeschooled? I'm homeschooled now. Okay. But I hate it. That's why you're like fun. Because she's like a creative spirit. You can see you have yeah. a very creative energy about oh, you. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah, really. you. But I want to go back to school next year. I was in normal school mm -hmm. uh, last year, but my school got closed because I bring coronavirus bad luck into What happened? School. It just um. What happened? Why did it get closed? Should I even say? Enrollment was down. What? Enrollment was down. Oh yeah. They just it was didn't a private have school? that much money, yeah. to be honest. Oh, they ran out of money. Yeah. Oh boy, was this in Miami? They just had like a lot of debt. Corrupt. It's, I'm from <laughs> Miami. It's like the most corrupt place. So the a private school. This was in Suffern. Upstate, are you still over there? Yeah, it was around Suffern. You don't know Woodbury Commons because when you came in, I said, Oh, oh my right. god, let's circle back to that circle. topic. But Circling then I want to talk back. about school again because I have a lot of questions. Mm. What What are you now, junior? I'm a sophomore. Sophomore, yeah. fair enough. Smart. Stretch it out. Take it from me. Work. Don't graduate too soon. Graduate at 20. Why, why okay. rush it? You know, I'm being honest. Please, please say that to her. No, I'm t <laughs> I graduated high school very young and I regret it because then it just immediately threw me into being an adult. I had to get a job yeah. younger than everyone. It was like, well, there was no fun. Um, Grace kind of has I feel like a I'm in a, a job situation. <laughs> okay. Because it would be useful for me to finish high school early since it... Then causes you a lot tour. of problems for my work right now. Oh, does it? Yeah. Do you, you've been on tour? Mm, yeah, a couple you times. You have? Yeah. So do you have a teacher who comes with you, or is your mom the one who teaches uh, you? No, my mom. That would be <laughs> such a bad idea. That I can would be see such Tina a being idea. a funny teacher. <laughs> Tina's no. such a bad I can see idea. Tina being funny. Tina's she like, how do you take 25% off no. of this ticket? Yeah, I got exactly. It. <laughs> I, rem I remember needing like math. I'm really bad at math. Mm. I've always, like I was born being bad at math okay. because I remember like, as early as I can remember. And I was like sitting at the kitchen table and like I would try to ask you and dad for like help, but I could never ask you because either you <laughs> at a certain point wouldn't know it or or you would be like, well, this is how I learned it in school and this is how you do it. I'm like, no, but I'm not gonna get credit. Yeah. If I do it that way, I must do it the way they teach me. And you're like, why can't you just do it the way to get the She's right. I'm on Tina's side because they do all these. First Bro, of all, me I would, too. It's ridiculous. I'm, I'm, when I have a kid, I'm whipping that abacus out in the crib. I'm like, <laughs> click, clack, click. This is how I learned it. Click, clack, this is click. How you're learning. You can sample that. You can have that. I love that voice box to my mom. <laughs> Um, no, she's right because now they have all these weird. I I don't have children, but I know that they have all these weird like because well, it's all shortcuts. for the testing. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. You're too young. I said the f word. I'm so sorry. F the testing. The <laughs> testing frustrates me because it, it yeah. controls your mind in a way mm -hmm. that is not free. Like children should be learning in more creative Absolutely. ways. Completely agree with you. Mm. Wait, so when you go back to high school, how many siblings do you have? Two older siblings. Yeah. Are they musical? Uh, no. Great. What do they do? Are they in college? <laughs> So what do they so do? So what are they? 
Um, my sister actually is really creative. She's an mm. artist. Oh, wonderful. And, ew, I don't know why. Artist. I don't know She's why. She's an I just artist. Said that. And then my brother is an artist. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever just say words and then it yeah. like echoes in your mind for a second? You're yeah, like, every God, day. why did that come every out? Every like day that? I'm like, Good morning, morning, morning. I'm like, Oh, I'm a monster. Why do people listen? Yes, yes every yes. day. Okay. So your sister's an artist, and then what does your brother do? Is he a banker? My brother, I don't really know what he does right now. That's great. How he's, old is he? He's twenty. He's still he's figuring out his life. Yeah, um, is he in college? No. Okay. He's not in college. Uh, He's, he's Do all of you look like supermodels? Tina, I must ask. Are all the kids like... They must be gorgeous. We can, all got your, good jeans. No, ser- no, because really, you could be also a model. I'm looking at you <sighs> like... And that's not me. Am I wrong? I'm like thinking, that's why when I mentioned that other person whose name I won't bring up here, I'm oh. like, no, forget that person. This <laughs> is... And you're so young still. It's exciting. Oh, I think there's so much you. ahead. I'm like very excited thank for you. Thank you. When it comes to your music, I have an ignorant question to ask. You're going to be mad okay. at me. Do you write your own music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that you did. Um, I'm like your big hit happy birthday to you it's a massive hit people love it Um, no but so you have your new EP Letters Volume Mm -hmm. 1 and some of the singles on it you're so beautiful Mm. waste my time Mm. I don't like you (laughs) these are the names of the songs what do you oh my god I know you hate me listen what do you base you're you're so young but Mm. yet you obviously are, are a brilliant girl where do these feelings come from? Like when you're writing songs, I always wondered that yeah. about young songwriters, like even mm. a Taylor, right? Mm. Where are these feelings and these love songs and passions? Yeah. Where, where do you base them on? I mean, is it on your real life or things you've seen? Most of the time it's on real life or mm. I'll take something really small and just like exaggerate it so much to the point where it's like basically a lie. Yeah. But most of the time it's from my own experiences. But I feel like what people always get wrong is they i'm young right so mm-hmm. they're like oh like uh, how are you writing all these loves you don't even know what love is like uh, how are you doing this like Again. i'm not listening anymore amazing impression of me <laughs> you have captured me <laughs> <laughs> i'll come into so these studios these like tall girls they're like <laughs> <laughs> and that's me yeah you got it <laughs> okay go on <laughs> um. But uh, yeah. I think a lot of people, I mean, that's a you thats a you problem to anyone who yeah. like immediately thinks that because very rarely my songs are blatantly romantic. Mm. And most of the time the songs, obviously I love to keep them open for interpretation. And I love it when people tell me stories and they're like, like the, oh, this like relates to my divorce or something like that. I'm like, that's insane. Like, I love hearing that story. Oh my God. Who's telling you about divorce at 16? <laughs> oh my God. Tina, protect her. <laughs> Tina, I but, some woman. Can I just picture this? Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. at your concert. Yeah, you're like you leave. Some woman smoking Please, outside. Stop. She's like, Grace, <laughs> listen. He treated me horribly. If there's like a middle aged lady telling you about divorce, uh, literally call the authorities. I don't like that at all for you. This is a child. People yo. are sick. That's the problem these days. Don't you think people We're, are sick? Yeah, I do. I really do. Don't you think people are just sick? That's gonna Grace? be the that's gonna be the clip that makes it to TMZ. Yes, people are sick. Wait. <laughs> And Disney Plus, by the way, congrats. Mm. Getting some of that Star Wars money. I like that. Right. It's called Star Girl, mm-hmm. not related to Star Wars. Yeah. Okay, tell us about it. When is it coming out? Do you know? Um, It's coming out March 13th. Okay, Tina's with it. Tina's mm. got it down. She March 13th. On top. And who do you play in Star Girl? Star Girl. Amazing. <laughs> all right. Well, that's, <laughs> all right. Well, that's all we have. Thank you so much. <laughs> is this the worst? Be honest with me. You're 16. You haven't. One of the worst interviews you've ever done. You can just tell me because I feel like I'm like Grace. Absolutely. No, it is. Oh, I am dead mess. inside at the moment. <laughs> no, I hope that's not true. Um, so you're in this star girl. It's exciting. You're like yeah. you're killing it. No, so thank once you. you're, you have to go back to high school. That is an annoying thing. Now I see why yeah. that sucks for you because you're like exactly yeah, blowing yeah. up. So now what? <laughs> now you have to go so back this to is class. Blowing up. I'm thriving. I can't be with this. Is it hard anymore? to be normal in school because of like your? Mm. Success? I never face that challenge really actually because yeah. I think public schools and private schools depending on the private school obviously are so so different and the private school I went to mm. was literally perfect for me that's why it was so upsetting when it closed it was that like sucks. this real hippy dippy really small school like no one cared it was like just such a vibe yeah and I feel like you in a public school didn't work out. Mm-mm. I wonder why. Why do you think so? It didn't work out. I don't know. I just like, I don't, 
It doesn't it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I think it's not I don't want to sound like annoying. I I cuz I know people are listening mm. and I used to hate it so much like listening to people on radio shows and things like that like I was such a loser. Like and no one even <laughs> noticed me. It's like I don't know why it would just bother me. So I'm I'm trying to like dance around those words but now that I'm n- that person. Wait, actually may I ask a question though? Is yeah. that how you felt in public school? Cuz I would have thought the honestly, I'm glad you clarified. <laughs> I'm not joking cuz when you were saying it I was like, "Oh, maybe you know, because you're like sophisticated and you can see that you have been through things that no child has ever lived mm. through, like being a national name and all these things. Mm. So I was like, oh, maybe it's that you can't like relate because of that. But you felt like a. No, no, it was before any of that. It's I so actually funny. left public school uh, pretty quickly during America's Got Talent. So I never really. Mm ever even got to experience that i don't think i was like a loser no one think before you were on the show i got yeah yeah but i just i just was you know okay let me let me for all those listening who have been to school you know it's not a few of our listeners (laughs) this is a very no go on yeah you know it's not like a movie there's not like unpopular kids and popular kids period there are many versions and layers to both the popular kids and the unpopular kids so i wasn't like a loser Mm -hmm. no one bullied me i was like that minecraft kid with pasta sauce on their face where it's like i will not talk to them and i will you know forget that in they're in your own world maybe a little bit yeah you that's, a, that's a more beautiful kid, way to put it <laughs> minecraft kid with pasta sauce i'm like mm, not what i would I, like no planet what like, i'm ever... just i'm just saying the vibe you yeah. know what i mean wait also before you go mm. you're gonna be i'm sorry i'm having a f- effing heart attack because i'm <laughs> seeing here that you're performing live at the bottle rock napa valley oh, festival oh my god can you believe may 23rd with that? stevie nicks yo can you believe what? that what I honestly didn't know this until it was posted on my story for me on Instagram. That's funny. I like watched my Instagram. I'm like, yeah. wait, what? I'm playing there. I cannot believe that's that. why I'm, y'all like, so not famous enough for that. I love getting things I'm not famous oh, enough for. That's the best feeling. But like, it is the best feeling. It's like, how <laughs> did I land that talent? Period. <laughs> wow. Stevie Nicks, Dave Matthews Band, Miley Cyrus, Tegan and yeah. Sarah. Like what? Why have I, I never think, heard I of this think, festival? I think Coda the Friend is playing there too, which is crazy because I'm a mm. big fan. I'm actually covering his song today at the coffee house thing. What's today? <laughs> What? You're playing at a coffee house today? Yeah. Oh, here at Sirius? Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. I know. I was going to ask you to sing for us. But mm. I guess it's too late now. Mm. Come back next time you're in town and mm. hang out. You're like, fine. You made sure. me feel young. I'm like, you know what? I'm cool. I can <laughs> hang out with a 16 year old. Like, yeah, I'm like connecting it's with teens. It's feel. normal. It's like, I'm normal. so versatile. <laughs> <laughs> um, you really are a, a ton of fun. You Thank are you. A, truly a star. And I'm not just saying that. Like, I, <laughs> you know, it's a crapshoot. We, we have sometimes, mm. not often, but sometimes I'll say yes. And I, I liked your singing. So I said, I'll bring her in. And you were <laughs> above and beyond. I'm happy you said yes. No, you're above and beyond a wonderful guest and a great girl so I wish you nothing but only the best things go listen right now to her new EP it's called Letters Volume 1 um, you can go on Spotify Apple Music anywhere music exists uh, <laughs> Mozart.com I don't know is that a thing and then also March 13th Stargirl mm-hmm. on Disney Plus uh, she's Stargirl and also follow her on Twitter and on Instagram at Grace Vanderwall that's two A's in wall yes. one L Yes. Um, Grace, you're you're wonderful. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Congrats so much. on everything. Oh my goodness, Grace is adorable, funny. I mean, she's a freaking comedian. That girl, she can go into those voices, and she plays so well off of people. I mean, she's just into the vibe. And Michelle is a funny person. Talked too much. She didn't interview Grace enough. I know it's the Michelle Collins show, and I like her a lot. She's funny. And she, I think it sounds like on her show, she drops F-bombs like crazy. So she's, she's got a wild side. I liked her a lot, <clears throat> but she doesn't interview enough. I wanted to hear more from Grace, but in a way, it was just, I mean, maybe for this vibe, it was best because they interacted really well. And I also liked how Michelle talked to Grace as an equal. I mean, I know she mentioned her age many times. I think she was just blown away like we all are by how mature, together, funny, vulnerable, sophisticated, Michelle used that word, Grace is. I kind of wish Michelle would have gone more into the whole public education thing. That really fascinates me 
My own daughter uh, did not go to public school. She tried it for three weeks just to see what it was like when she was about 13 or something. She's like, Dad, you, you have all these stories about public school. I want to go see what it's like. I'm like, okay, it's your life. Go. So she went for three weeks. She's like, okay, I've had enough. So, and it was because it's just so clicky, you know, and stifling. Got to raise your hand to go to the bathroom, all this other stuff. So my daughter has been homeschooled her entire life. Um, goes to a homeschool co-op, that kind of thing. So I was really curious to see what um, Grace was going to say about that, but, but Michelle didn't really go into that. So I was also, I thought it was also interesting that Michelle really doesn't know hardly anything about Grace. And, you know, maybe she does that so that her interviews are pretty fresh. Didn't know she had siblings, didn't know, doesn't really know her songs, said she heard her, liked her voice, brought her on. But in a way, that kind of made it to where it was more of an interactive interview. So in that sense, this is, I think this is even better, really, than the Zach Zang show, which was really good. A good, a great interview. Zach's a great guy. But this was a little bit more sort of sophisticated, not somebody ooing and aahing about Grace, but just having a frank conversation with her and her mom. Got her mom in there a little bit. I mean, Grace is just funny. I mean, that girl is just so lighthearted and funny. Oh, my God. I mean, God, I don't know how many times I cracked up during that. And I had a lot more I wanted to say during that, but they just did. They were nonstop. <laughs> I just love how she goes into her voices. I don't know what that Band-Aid on her back was. I mean, she got a pretty serious cut there. And I guess I've never noticed that sort of mole she has on her left arm. Just never noticed. I, anyway, but um, I'm glad that Michelle said that Grace could be a supermodel. She could. Uh, she's gorgeous. And she, she's just everything, as I've said, and as many people have said before, she's the, the full package. She's beauty, brains, sophistication, complexity. I guess all that has to do with brains. Um, completely open with her personality and artistic, vulnerable. And that openness is what blows me away, the openness and humor. I mean, she is in the moment every single time. I'm just, I'm really, truly blown away by how she is herself all the time and so unlike other artists who get on there and you could tell they're a little bit careful oh no this is going to be sort of spontaneous and extemporaneous and you can tell they're just not revealing their whole side and they may be a little bit funny but they're not revealing their whole personality every single time grace inter you know, does her whole personality. I love her interactions with her mom. I mean, they talk as if they're sisters. I just love that. Um, you know, Grace turns around and says, you, but I thought you liked Grace, uh, Sex in the City. Her mom says, oh, I do. You know, but Grace is like challenging her mom. I just love that. And, uh, you know, Grace challenging Michelle, Michelle challenging back, and Michelle calling Grace a bitch, you know, and I mean that in the in the best possible way. And Grace is like, oh, my God, I feel more love on this than any other. And that's one thing that really came out in this in this interview was it's something I've mentioned before. And that is Grace is a, a judger of of life, herself, others. And you can you can hear it in her music. You know, I mean, she's constantly evaluating and she understands that, unfortunately, most of the world is made up or a large part of it is made up of losers. <laughs> it just, that's humanity. That's been humanity throughout history. A lot of great people, no doubt about it, but I'm sure Grace has been exposed to the other side. And one thing about this interview, and Michelle brought it out, kudos to her. I mean, I got more of a sense of Grace's level-headed judgment about herself, about people, about the world. I was really glad to hear her praise Simon and say, by far, he's the best judge. I've always thought that. And that he said he expressed what was on her mind. Even when she was a small kid, she agreed with him. So, I mean, she's just a fair person. Hey, add that adjective to everything else about Grace. I mean, this girl is the surround sound of personality. <laughs> oh, my God. Love this interview. Man, thanks, everybody. Thanks to all of you. I think a dozen of you who recommended this. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed this. This has been my favorite interview so far with Grace. 
in the sense of really getting to know her and her openness. So anyway, look forward to hearing y'all's comments on this. It's a long video, but so thanks for hanging around and uh, tell me what you think. I look forward to it. I'll catch you on the backside. Bye now.